In this video, we're going to take a look at how you factory reset an Apple Time Capsule. Typically, you would use the factory reset option if you intend to sell, give away, or decommission a time capsule. When you factory reset an Apple Time Capsule, it is similar to completing a hard reset. However, after performing a factory reset, the ability to restore from a saved configuration will have been removed. As the Apple Time Capsule contains a built-in hard drive, if we're planning to sell or give away the Time Capsule, we need to first securely wipe the hard drive, which is done via the airport utility. From within the airport utility, you will find a graphical representation of your wireless network. You should find an icon representing your Time Capsule. When you select the Time Capsule icon, a pop-up menu will appear. Next, we need to choose Edit to display the Time Capsule settings. From within Settings, we need to select the tab called Disks. We can now see how the Time Capsule's hard drive has been partitioned, and we have an option to erase disk. When we select Erase Disk, we're asked if we're sure that we want to erase the Airport Time Capsule's disk you will find a drop-down menu called Security Method. This will provide us with four options. Quick Arrays Non-Secure, Zero Out Data, Seven Pass Arrays, and 35 Pass Arrays. As we are planning to give away or sell this time capsule, we need to ensure that none of the data that is stored on the hard drive can be accessed. The default option is Quick Arrays. This will not delete the data on the hard drive, Instead, the data on the hard drive is simply tagged so that it can be overwritten. As this method for erasing the hard drive makes the data relatively easy to recover, you should not use this option if you intend to sell or give away your time capsule. The next option is to zero out data. This will overwrite all data on the hard drive with zeros. The zero out data option is the fastest way to wipe a time capsule's hard drive as it will take roughly three to four hours to erase a one terabyte disk. However, the zero out data option is not nearly as secure as using a seven pass erase, which will overwrite all data on the hard drive seven times. While a seven pass erase is more secure, it will take longer to complete. For example, using the seven pass erase on a one terabyte time capsule took us over 24 hours to complete. The fourth and final option is the most secure, and will overwrite the data on the hard drive 35 times. However, as this process will take 35 times longer to complete than the zero out option, you need to give yourself plenty of time to complete this method for securely wiping the hard drive. While it's entirely up to you which secure wipe method you use, we recommend that as a minimum you use the seven pass erase option. While the hard drive is being erased, the status light on the time capsule will blink amber. You won't be able to change any settings, update the firmware, or restart the time capsule until after the hard drive has been erased and becomes available again. With the time capsule's hard drive securely wiped, we can now factory reset the device. First, we need to ensure that the time capsule is not connected to a power supply. Next, you need to locate the reset switch, which is situated at the rear of the time capsule. Using some sort of reset tool, press and hold down the reset switch. With the reset switch still held down, reconnect the power. Continue to hold down the reset switch for six seconds. The status light on the Apple time capsule will start to rapidly flash amber. This indicates that you have factory reset the time capsule. As we have to wait for around a minute for the time capsule to restart, let's take another look at the airport utility. From within the airport utility, you might find that the network diagram still shows the time capsule. However, with the time capsule now in the process of being factory reset, the icon will become greyed out and then automatically removed from the airport utilities network diagram. Beside the option Other Wi-Fi Devices, you will find a number one in brackets. When you select this option, a pop-up menu will be displayed. 
listed will be the factory default name for your airport time capsule. In order to confirm that the time capsule has been factory reset, select your time capsule from the list to display a configuration wizard. The configuration wizard will offer to assist you in the setup of your time capsule. However, we're going to select other options. We're now presented with three options. Create a new network, add to an existing network, and replace an existing network. Because there is not an option to restore previous settings, we know that the airport time capsule has been reset back to factory defaults. Selecting Cancel will close the setup wizard. We can now safely sell, give away or dispose of this time capsule.